What's going on everybody? My name is Paul. Welcome back to the Ratchet and Clank HD Collection. Today we have the Titanium Bolt Guide and first off there's this one underneath this Gadgetron vendor here on Florana. And then following this there'll be one hidden on the path of death where it's going to be tucked into the corner. Now you want to count down the traps that are in this area. There are a bunch of fire traps but before the first one appears. Yes I know. For some reason I didn't realize that this is the only one that appears up to this point. See that? That's the first one, and then to your right, it's going to be tucked into this little area over here. I never even realized this before. The forced camera perspective really, really jacks you up, but you know what? It's okay. I'm here. <laughs> Pat you on back. <laughs> anyway, uh, on the Starship Phoenix, you want to do all of the gadget training type of things in the VR training arena, and then on the final one, you'll get the Titanium Bolt. And back from the Let's Play, remember me getting this one right here? The one that taunted me and trolled the shit out of me. I should just put a troll face over that, but you know what? <laughs> gotta deal with it. And that's the one that... I think that was the only one that I got there in the Let's Play. Or was there one more? Anyway, in the Quark minigames, you wanna eat every single one of them with a hundred of the tokens. Not the health tokens. The health tokens don't count for this. But health tokens do count to 100% in this game for a skill point, I believe. But that's all you have to do. Get a hundred in every one of them. And here on Marcadia, I, I kind of pointed this out. I pointed a lot of them out during the Let's Play. It's hidden in this back alleyway where the camera... I don't know why this game has such a good way of directing you without directing you at all. It, it's just... That's a, a show of good game design. It, you have like this sixth sense where it's telling you to go somewhere and you're just walking. And just walking. I don't know if they have like some kind of psychologist working there or something, but that's beast. And nobody really checks over there. And there you go. And this video took a long time to make. This took like 10 hours. Alright. By the refractor beams, you have to head to the end of the course nearly. Redirect this beam into this wall over here. This is after the spider bot and before Al. In this area. You guys are going to see the spider thingy right here anyway. And it's in that room over there past this. You see over there where those, those, those things are? That's the spider bot. In this room, this light's gonna start reflecting through the wall, and you're gonna bounce this onto this wall, opening this door over here. Very, very easy once you see how it's done. Otherwise, when you're reading the guides and stuff, that shit is hard as hell, I'm telling you. No homo. But, um, it's so hard to, to kind of get what some of these guides are telling you. Like, some of these guys don't even write it down properly. And this one's right by the end here on the top of the ceiling. Really obvious if you were watching this at the start. And it's right by Al, anyway. Uh, what you want to do is head to the Annihilation Nation Challenge, Maze of Blaze. I figured this out. My own no guy told me how to do this part. I did follow a few for the other ones, and uh, they're terrible. They are. Didn't explain shit. But they still managed. It's going to be hidden over here. Well, not hidden. This one's right in your face. But I think this is one of the only challenges you can get both at the same time. I just found it here. I stopped at this one and got it. There are a few that you can't, and it was confusing as hell for me. And then over here to your left, instead of going to the right, I went to the right. But to the left, come on, Paul, to the left, there you go. It's right here. No animation. That's weird, but we're gonna take it. Now, on planet Aquatos, I think this is after the first bridge or so. There's gonna be uh, a hacker module on your left. I saw this during the Let's Play, but it's very forgettable once you beat the game. You won't even remember this little hacker device thingy here after you get the hacker device at all anyway. Now I'm going to speed this up because I can't really help you hack this thing. I can help you guys with tactics and stuff when it comes to races and hacking this type of stuff. I think it's random and that is based on your own skill base. So sorry about that. And as you guys can see, I'm in super fast forward mo motion and... It's taken a while. It really is. It took a while. It was like four different layers of security. Four or five. It was the most beast hacker thing ever. But at least it's not as hack as those Rubik's Cube type of things. From actually going to go and command the hot house or hell. And also guys, I'm going to be doing the Ratchet and Clank Future Series. I'm going to be doing Deadlocked. But when Deadlocked comes onto the PSN store, that's when I'm gonna start it back. I, I want to take a little bit of a break from Ratchet and Clank, unless Deadlock comes out like tomorrow, then I have to do that anyway. But I really want to just get to these other games that I've been trying to play, and I have to I had to put off for this game. 
And I'm going to do the future series, but I'm waiting for deadlocked. I have to do it in sequential order. But there you go, there's your bolt. And I can't wait for that game. Co-op is amazing. Now, I think this is after the first pool of water. You want to head through here, and then I buy the, this bridge right here. It's going to be underneath. It's really obvious. This is the path that you have to take anyway, and you'll probably see it while you're walking through anyway. That, like, uh, like I did on the first playthrough. Now, this is either the second pool of water. I think it is. And when you dive, look around, and you'll see the bolt right there. It's hidden behind you, but my perspective when I dived in really jacked it up. Now, in the sewers, you want to head to the, one of these bridges. Any bridge will do... And then you want to use this warp pad. Now, this warp pad sends you down this huge, huge sewer, and it's divided into thirds. So there's like one third of every area split by this bridge. Now, you want to teleport to the one all the way in the back. See, I'm in the middle right now. Teleport to the one all the way in the back, and then you're going to head to the upper level and use the dynamo to, to, um, to swing to this titanium bolt in the air. I did this backwards, but it's all right. It's faster this way. And I did that unintentionally. So you watch this, I'm gonna head right up, very easy, pull out the, the hyper shot, my bad. Swing up into the air, and then I'm just gonna fly backwards, and got it. Now there's another one that's hidden here inside the sewers as well, but you have to have the map matic it's not gonna show up on the map. Make sure you have the map matic before you head into these sewers, I'm like, don't do what I did. But it's hidden back here, I'll show you guys for a split second what it looks like on the map. There you go, it's all the way in the back there. You might find it while you're hunting down the sewer crystals. Now in Tyrion Oasis, there's gonna be a titanium bolt hidden behind these boxes. You're gonna ramrod it, I, like I almost did during the Let's Play. Very easy. Now on the opposite side of this entire map, it's one of the paths you have to take to get to the turrets. It's hidden in this corner part of this cave. Now I kinda saw it, but I completely ignored the fact that it was there. Because it was kind of obvious, look at this. It was hidden behind this rock area. And if you're getting all the bolts, like if you guys are one of those guys that are just collecting every single crate just to clean the place up. I respect that and you probably want to see that anyway. That's probably how they intended for you to see it. And there are a few that are kind of annoying to find. Now when you reach the planet Dax, head onto this taxi cab and you're gonna follow this dynamo course that I've never ever seen in my life. Never ever did in my life. And this was kind of weird. And look at all that water. Amazing. <laughs> this is really, really easy. 15 seconds is pretty much all you need to get through this course. I'm just gonna swing shot to this one and then use these two dynamos. Very easy. Just don't fall down. The lurker shark is waiting for you. I like how they had that game, that, that lurker shark in like every game. Unlike Jack and Daxter, they, they changed it every game. Went from lurker shark to squid and whatnot. Now on the same planet, Planet Dax, you want to head through this entire area, and this was super hard to figure out from the guides. I'm gonna post a link to that in the description, and there's gonna be the cork stuff like for the tokens and stuff like that in the description as well because I think that's something else and uh, in the next guide that's supposed to come out right after this because I know I put out the scope one guide it's gonna be a collectibles thing now see this door right here it's closed you want to head back into this other room and have the charge boots ready you're gonna hit this button charge your way across that's all you got to do hit this button charge your way across and head out to this really epic balcony and I don't care if I'm wasting Rhino ammo, I don't give a shit, I beat the game. I, I can't believe people complain about this. This game is about shooting big guns and having fun, not being like a little greedy gremlin over the bolts. It doesn't really matter. And at this point, I had 4 million bolts and the game was over anyway. So I'm sorry, it kills some people to see it, but I'm sorry. Anyway, heading over here to the right of the start of the Obami Gemini. I said Obami. You're gonna see a path here to this titanium bolt. You can see it on the map. You're gonna see this X thingy that's marking it like that. Now you're gonna follow this blue platforms that look like my intro sorta to these rocks over here and follow these rocks right into this cave. And oh look, it's a summer Milan. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> anyway, now you're gonna take this portal all the way over here and then jump up into the air. I kind of spotted this during the let's play as well. Very very easy once you get. Just jump up to the air, do a few 360s, whatever you want as your celebration, and get it. Now, the slot machines on the Holostar Studios, behind them there's gonna be chairs, and these kinda look like walls when you're walking in, but they're not. I don't know why I never took a look over there, it's the camera mode. And if I was playing in lock strafe mode, that would've really messed me up. Now by your ship, this is where you start out, head up here with the magnet boots, a path that we could not previously take. Now this one was kinda confusing, I actually missed the bolt here, and I had to go all the way around back to get it. 
You guys can correct this mistake if you watch this part out before attempting, because I know some people attempt it at the same time. That's what I would do. And I'm sorry if the guide is kind of fast paced. I just don't. I hate. I hate slow guys. And look at this corkscrew thing. See this other corkscrew that's like right parallel to me? There was one right above me. That's the path to the other one. It's right in a, like a little small crevice up there. But unfortunately, I took this path first, and this path was supposed to be the path to take secondly, which will head, take you back to your ship. But like I was saying, I do my guys fast paced because I know what I'm doing, and I just. I can't stand watching slow guys. I just can't. Half the time, the people are confused themselves. And that just pisses me off. Look at this. Oh, this mighty monument. But that's why I don't like... Oh, look at these guys. They're caught free-flowing. That's so epic. They got glitched up. Now, I returned to my ship, and I went to the corkscrew thing again. And you're going to go to the top of it. Jump off. Thrust their pack your way to the other one. But yeah, that's my reason why my guys are pretty much fast-paced. That's why. There you go. There's your titanium bolt. I can't spoon feed you guys this. I expect you all to be pros. Anyway, heading out to the Zeldrin starport, we're gonna follow this path until you get to this hangar right here. It's right next to the ship anyway. You're gonna find these four ships, and by destroying this fourth one on the right hand side, there's gonna be a secret door, and that was pretty cheap Insomniac hiding it behind something like that. And you're gonna follow the path some more, and Mapomatic pretty much spells this out for you where it's gonna be. But right there, you see that room where those guys were that I died in front of? And back there, kill everything in the room jump on the crates that they're using for cover and then jump across and you'll have your titanium bolt very easy and there's your 30th one as long as you didn't collect nothing that shouldn't be too confusing and if you follow the path you'll get the bolt grabber which i'll show in a different video anyway as soon as you get to metropolis on your left hand side follow this path right here and then you're going to take the swing sh the hyper shot and get to this bolt and then there's going to be another one past the breach and clear area that's what i like to call it where these guys attack you from the ceilings and you don't even really see this at all. It's kind of blended in really well with the surroundings, and then I blast these guys. Look at my nanotech as it goes up progressively. That's really cool. By the way, guys, if you guys could leave a like rating on this video, I know I'm asking kind of early for this, but this took so much time. This took an entire Saturday. See this path right here? Just jump onto this wall all the way across. Titanium bolt. Now you want to head to challenge number, I believe it's challenge number three, I think. And on challenge number three of this jet mission you're gonna fly all the way to the end of this grind rail thing it's in the back left part of this map it's gonna be pretty much attached to the ramp like this right there and then that's it i was looking for that all the time now on the crash site easy one game right next to you just done if you need help with that i'm sorry uh on iridia underneath this bridge i figured this out in the multiplayer as a child i was like oh i saw orgasmic I think it blew up this bridge too. That, that's the first one, and then behind the base as well. I figured this out in the multiplayer. Like the entire area is straight out of the multiplayer, and that's what I love. They really included that into the single player, which is epic as hell. And uh, yeah, I might do a live stream or something of the Ratchet Clank multiplayer this weekend. Unless you're watching this in the future, then it's not this weekend, it's over. There you go, it's behind the base, and we're good. Now, on Quirk's hideout, when you. I actually took a path. God damn it, cars outside. I hate the hood. Anyway, you're gonna see this path. This is just me showing you guys how I got the PDA and stuff. It's a really fruity path with all these type of lightning rays and stuff flying at you. It's really, really annoying because it kind of gave me a headache with all the spinny colors. But you know what? I fought my way through. The bolt, the bolt is actually at the start. When you head up the first ramp, you can actually fly right off onto this one that's staring directly at you. I don't know why I decided to show you guys getting me getting the PDA, but you know what? I did anyway. And it was it was pretty useful, I guess. I didn't use it at all. If you needed it for Dr. Nefarious, like I used it when I used my first fight against Drek, it's okay, but it's ten times the price for whatever wh whatever you want to buy. So I just thought you'd want to keep that in mind. And here you go. We're going to go back inside and follow the path. You see this, this upper area right here? You're just going to jump all the way to the top. See that? There was the bolt. Jump right off. It's right there. Super easy. I like how there's a warp pad back to your ship everywhere you go. The developers, they really thought ahead in everything they did. Now on Koros, this is where I got the Courtney Gears trophy by accident and I actually did that unintentionally. But past these diamond boxes, you want to jump over this fence and do the straight out of the hood style. Break into this guy's yard. 
steal this titanium bolt. Now, I almost got this other one during the let's play as well. You can jump over here and follow this all the way to this ladder behind this building right here. And then you're going to have it. Now, there you go. I got the Nano Finder Trophy. That's one of the trophies you need for the Platinum anyway. There you go. And then the final titanium bolt. It's back here on the command center. I did this in planet order. Uh, it's gonna be past this part where you have to disguise yourself as a Tyranoid. It's right there, pretty much. Disguise yourself as the Tyranoid. Then you're gonna see this. Disguise yourself as a Tyranoid. Go all the way up. But before you pass this area right here, head back. Turn around and jump over the fence to your right. There's your titanium bolt. If this guide helped you, please remember to like or favorite. I'm Miss Paul. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I just jumped all the way down there. Damn.